Now, I cut my teeth as a guitar player on straight ahead, power chord based rock and roll stuff. That in turn led me straight to shuffle am when I really got into blues. And as a rocker, that made sense to me, right? It's the same basic chord form here. And that driving root fifth power chord sound, it really it worked, but it certainly caused me to kind of leave out some real sweet tones that work great over the blues. So when I started learning how to jam and play lead with others as a blues player, I really just kind of grabbed the minor pentatonic scale and went for it. And that worked. It definitely worked. But I want to talk to you today about adding some sweetness, some sweet tones to your blues licks. I'm going to show you how blending some sweet notes can really add a cool flair to your playing. We're going to blend in some major pentatonic notes to this minor pentatonic lick that we're going to use as kind of our home base. Here's the lick. It's a, a real minor pentatonic stock sound in A. <laughs> All right, so nothing really crazy or interesting really happening there, but we're gonna add some interest by blending in our major third. So listen to what happens when we get to this major third, this C sharp. You're gonna hear it played here on the third string, sixth fret, and then up here on the ninth fret of the first string, an octave higher. So I told you we're gonna play this major third in two places, and we did. We started up here, hammering on from the minor third to the major third, and then did it here by kind of falling down into that major third. And we ended the lick there, which is a sweet thing to do as well. Instead of ending back on your root, your home, this is a great way to really call attention to that major third, that sweet note, okay? So what's happening is I'm starting out the same, and then I'm sliding up just to get out of position, get out of this box one, slide up into the second position, second pattern for the minor pentatonic scale. Then I'm gonna hammer on from my minor to my major. Classic blues move, we do that a lot here. Then we're gonna walk back down the minor pentatonic scale, so that's our flat seven minor sound all day long. Then we do this little walk down on the third string from the E to the D to that C sharp, that sweet note that we were talking about. All right, I've got one other thing that I want to show you to add some sweetness to your licks. But before we do, I want to say one thing. I want to make this clear that if you're just playing the minor pentatonic scale, that works. It's a great scale. It sounds great. That can be the sound you're going for. But if you're going for something a little bit different with some more of those sweeter tones in there, then try this concept out. Add that major third. But let's move on right now. I want to talk to you about the other note that you can add that will really kind of give you that sweet tone sound and expand the notes that you can use in your blues licks, and that is the major six. So the major third is here. The major six is an F sharp here, okay? So in this next lick, we're gonna add the F sharp in and really hear the sweetness that it adds. Okay, in this lick, you still heard the major third, so we're keeping that sweet note in there, but we introduced that F sharp, the major six. And what we did is kind of roll through that typical starting pattern here. But then we came back and hammered on from our E up to that F sharp. And then back. Then we did this little move to get that um, minor third to major third in there before walking down from the root to the flat seven. So we got some minor pentatonic action happening there and then ending on that major six. The same way we ended the other lick on the major third to really add some sweetness, some interest, and something that's not the stable root or the nice bluesy minor pentatonic sound, we can end on that major six to add some sweetness here. All right, so now we're really blurring the lines between the minor pentatonic scale and the major pentatonic scale, just bringing in those two extra notes. It gives us a little bit of an extra color, a little bit more to play with when it comes to our blues licks. And we go deep into this in the pentatonic blender course inside BGI's premium course library, but you can get started with a little cheat sheet, a one pager that I've got for you that will help you kind of bring these concepts together and develop your own licks. So pick that up today. And I've got another lesson coming for you next Tuesday so hit the subscribe button. I'll see you right here next week. And until then, play on.